this tote bag. I can hold it. This is what I brought to my to my flight. It's a very it has a very solid shape and it's from the coffee company Arabica. Arabica. I decided this time to try and bring a tote bag. Most of the time I'm like kind of too scared to like bring like an open like non fully like zip closable bag, but this time I decided to bring this tiny um it's like, I, I like to call it a phone bag. It's a bag that like kind of fits your phone and like maybe like one more thing and that's it. But um, my phone bag's a bit big. Like my phone, first of all, is huge, but like it's like a bit bigger than my phone. So I can fit like a few more things other than my phone, even though I, I kind of like, even though it's a phone bag, I kind of rarely put my phone inside. <laughs> but, so I wanted to bring this as like my, as like the tiny bag, but like worst case, if they tell me that I can only bring in one bag, I can just like, stick into the tote bag and be like, oh, what do you mean? I only have one bag. But um, I'm gonna start opening up this bag and we'll see what we have inside. First we got a scarf, muffler, a scarf. This one's like pretty light, but at the same time, I think it's, it's pretty warm and kind of cute. So great one piece of color to like add to your outfit. And it's like really cold in Korea, like especially like compared to Tokyo, it's really cold. These are my new babies. I literally just got them in Korea this trip. These are the AirPod Maxes. And you know, don't really have anything that's really like soundproofed in a way. Like I don't really. I only have the old AirPods, so I kind of wanted something that had that, and I wanted to try and see how much of a difference it made inside flights. And like, I was living in a different world. Like honestly, like I had them on when I got onto the flight, and then like halfway through the flight, like they had um a, like food service, so I had to take them off to take off my mask to eat. Right? I took off the air. I took them off, and I was like. It was so loud and I was just like This is what we were hearing. These they work. They are pretty heavy and they are honestly way like they're they're very expensive and I do not appreciate the price tag but I do think that they have the quality and the abilities of something that costs that much. Was it worth it? I'm not sure yet, but you know. Okay, I'm gonna take tackle the big pocket first, so um here is my computer. The entire reason why I needed a huge tote bag to carry stuff because I need to bring my baby. Um, I also have this ticket from a museum that I went to. So that's that. And then I have this pink slip. Um, this is the first charging cord bag that I have and it also has this ETS charm anyhow but inside here right now I have um, this Korean um, adapter with the USB and then um, my mouse just in case um, and a USB-C to USB-C cord and then we have another tote bag this is a tote bag that's way bigger this is a um, Noddington Hill tote bag. It's really big and it honestly like it actually fits this tote bag completely so I had it just in case I had something that I wanted to buy last minute and I couldn't fit it in my bag. I could just fit my entire bag in here and then put that also in here. And then we've got my film camera that is very dirty now. Yeah, this is the second one that I have of this series, Kodak M35. These are film cameras. I take horrible care of them but you know, and this time I literally, I don't think I even used them once, so it, they're great to have. Like eventually you get like 28 or something and you can, get, you can go get them developed and you know. Um, this packet with Shoro from My Hero Academia is where I keep my hard drive and like HDMI and random stuff adapter. I also have a few um, stickers in here from a cafe that I went to. Okay, there's like a lot of like trash on the bottom of my bag. There's a ton of like just wet wipes that you get everywhere in Korea as well as a packet of wet wipes that I bought from Japan and tissues. This is a wristband that I got at Hybin site. One of 
exhibition or like area that wasn't available so they were like um like take this as a gift kind of thing these are some very old and past expiration date ramune candy that i have from the, the shinobu from team Zero, who was originally my hair and spell but you know now the purple's gone and it looks a bit more like i don't know what it looks like anymore but it's so reddish but you know and then here's my other charger pouch. This is the smaller one that I would carry around if I were to be like walking around town. We have a power bank, actual like cord headphones, and a USB-C to lightning thing. I have this one USB-C plug that I will also put in here so I can just charge whatever I need to on the phone. Now up to the, mm, the top pocket. Um, I have this bat box of band-aids that I got at A-Land. I got them just because they were cute. Um, yeah, I ended up like ripping a lot of my nails off during the trip, so that kind of came in handy. These are just some normal glasses that I have. Um, I like my eyesight isn't bad, so I don't really need glasses. But the thing is, like sometimes in Korea, the air quality is so bad that you kind of want some protection for your eyes. So I got these just in case. I ended up not using them, but you know. A bag of jellies, like jelly beans that I ended up eating on the bus ride home. I mean, uh, makeup bag. I'm a big, I'm a makeup beginner, so I, I can fit like everything in here. In the little pockets, we have um, hand sanitizer. We also have a Sephora lipstick slash lip gloss. Glossier, um, Balm.com, and Cookie, Cookie Matter. Dude, like, literally look at this, like, just doing this, and then doing this. You'd be surprised at how fast the camera focuses once you have your, like, hand behind. And then, on um, the other tiny bag, I just have a pen, because I forgot to bring a pen to sign, to, like, do the immigration stuff. But I ended up not needing to do it because I was just coming back to Japan. And this is the bag. Mostly empty. Just with like some like random like tissue paper and stuff like that on the bottom. We're all see like it has like one huge I don't know how to show you this. It has one huge pocket and then and there we have like a smaller pocket right here in the middle. And then on the side we have these two pretty big pockets where you can just like put in like mini stuff. I would also put in like my AirPods in here too, but yeah, that's what that's what fit inside this bag. And so now that we have figured out what was in my big bag, now we got to see what's inside this little bag. Honestly, I really like it. Like the straps are pretty like thin, but they're not really that bad. You can kind of just like put it below your jacket. You can also put put it on like on top of your jacket. So we'll open it, and this is how it looks. Um, here's a wet wipe that I got somewhere they give you these kinds of stuff like everywhere in japan and in korea so like might as well just keep them and then here is a new lip balm that i got in korea from this i think it was like a vegan brand it's called lakka and then in the um mini front pocket down here i have my t mini card which is yungi from bts but yeah i got this while i was in korea like three four years ago i think right when um Idol came out they for like promotions they were doing this like um new designed tea money card tea money card which is like their transportation card that they have in korea you, you can use it on buses trains and um taxis but i waited at a convenience store to get this thing like this isn't just a tea money card anymore you know like an otaku item like if i lose this i don't just lose my tea money card i also lose a yungi and then now that the mini pop kit in the front is open, is like fully empty, we're gonna go to the big pocket. Um, first we have this wallet, brand Fennec. They they have it at A Land. I'm a very big fan of the Fennec like leather products. I'm not even sure if it's like real leather or not. Honestly, I think it's not real leather because the price isn't really that bad at all. I have Korean one and my card. During this trip, we went to Hybe Insight. I'm not gonna show you the print just because I'm not really sure, but like people might not wanna see it, but member photo card from the day that I went. And you have, you can get your like name engraved here and then 
day that you went is also engraved here and it's really cool i got yoongi just in case like i really thought about who to get it was between yoongi sungwan and bonon and i was just like this is the first time that i'm going and like knowing my family we're probably gonna go again especially when they move to the new building and probably like by then they'll probably have their fm who knows i was like like BTS is the one that got me like introduced to Big Hit and well what became Hive so I felt like I should get the BTS one so I got the BTS one I tend to use a lot more cash because I like using cash you don't really need a very big wallet for Korea so this is probably gonna be my new Korea wallet or you know anywhere wallet like nowadays I feel like Japan is the only place where you actually need cash like everywhere else you kind of don't need cash anymore you can literally just like bring out a card and that's it my passport i have this like case on it from um a land again it's like a third passport it's cut it's a bit bigger than my like og passport so sometimes when i like put it on the scanner thing like it, it won't fit and i'll have to take it off the case which is kind of annoying but you know i like how it looks so that's it and then we have uh, my og airpods they're nasty as flip, but yeah, they're the OG ones that have the like the magnet charging thing. But yeah. And finally we have my medicine case. Um the case itself is from um the Hotel Miracosta. It's the old picture. The old picture with like a very classic Mickey and Minnie and some Italian vibes. I have like stomach medicine, band-aids, um some vitamins. Let's just call them vitamins. You know, I don't even know what they're called anymore. Uh, this random packet of sunscreen and a ton of headache medicine as well as some stress relief medicine and some like magnet patches. Yeah, you know, I'm old, you know, like I need stuff like this. When I go to Korea, I tend to get a SIM card so I can just put it into my phone and use my phone as I normally do. While I'm there, I will keep my SIM card in here so I can just have it within reach and just the second I get to Japan, just change it, get rid of it, that's it. And this is also my phone. Um, this is a case that I literally just, like, I received right as I got to Japan, but uh, this wasn't the case that I had, but that's what was inside my my mini bag and my big bag for going to korea i'm a very i'm very much a shoulder like carry everything on my shoulders i forgot i can't really do like the like the like handbag this is not a handbag but this like this looks like a butter sock but you know i'm more of like a shoulder bag gal not a like hold it on my hand wrist kind of gal that is it for this video if you want to see more from me Go subscribe, the button that is around somewhere. And if you want to know more, if you want to see more Korea content, it's the like button because honestly, I have a few like random ideas that I might make into a video that I don't even know what I'm gonna do with yet. So that's it. Oh my god. Yeah. Bye.